Okay. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, the pedophile ordinance, especially the pedophile ordinance for this ordinance, it's, it's, not, it's not to equate one to the other. I'm saying from a legal precedent as far as our counsel. But I, I do would like, I would like to speak just for a moment on the pedophile ordinance because we did have some concerns about the preemption and what happened within a month, and I think a copy of that decision was handed out to all the council people. It appears on the front page of the law journal that it had been successfully challenged on exactly that ground. Agreed. That it was preempted. And there was, and exactly, and you, and you said that there was precedence of, on that when it happened, when we enacted it. My point is that there are 14 other municipalities who have done this, and there's no precedence of it being legally challenged. Well, 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 Okay. Municipalities have been the pedophile thing, okay. and there's like two law cases. One is by some guy with the great name of Jay Big. That's it. When we find the outcome of that case, and whether we're too restrictive or not, it'll be fine. But I assure you, we will not accept money on the great name of pedophiles. How's that? There we go. Let's not repeat ourselves. Let's talk about the
to contribute to our great democracy, but getting them to be more transparent, uh, particularly lobbyists who uh, what's called bundling, go out and collect hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars for candidates. So I don't want to drag this into the realm of personal, but if we're going to attack, we're going to shadow box and put wolf bane on the door of reform, then I think it's silly. And I think that this council needs to look at, as we do other things in a serious manner, that we don't put up legislation that's half-baked, and that we look at the long-term ramifications and take out the council's advice into perspective. Can I just say that, based on what you said, we have two weeks between the first reading and the second reading. We've done this before. It wouldn't be outlandish to vote it in for introduction and move over it. We've done that before, and I just wanted to say two things over here. Um, curious as far as timing goes, okay? You know, at the end of the day, I put it forward for a first reading like anything else. It's kind of ironic, Steve, that you talk about transparency, you know, because if you look at the ELEC filings, you haven't filed an ELEC report in two years. Council President Mariano Vega, you haven't filed an ELEC report in two years. You both accept money from developers. Now, I'm going to ask you, okay? When you accept money from developers or contractors, you vote, no, it's right, because it's legal, it's illegal. You vote on their, on their activity, you don't declare it. Council Lynn Lipsky, what is that called? You don't have to answer, but I think we all know, okay? At the end of the day, two years, you've done fundraisers, there's one in this last week that you've done that you didn't cite. I mean, look, it is what it is, transparency. You saying transparency is, is, is humorous, okay? You know what, first off, it's humorous because, again, here's another example of your inaccuracy and lack of research I, I will, yeah, because I have a letter from the elect committee at home where it was sitting on their desk, my elect reports, because my treasurer didn't make it, put a signature on it. So here's another example of your rush, but I have your elect reports here. Bring them out. And uh, they're right here. Okay. And then, you know what? There are instances where you receive money from people, lawyers, and so forth, and you voted on things. Okay. So your poster can be right here, poster child. Okay. Can I just say that? Can I just say, can I just say one thing here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, number yeah, one is, number one is, because he, let me go. No, I'm going to ask both, both Steve to address the chair. Okay. Right. Where we don't address the personalities that are involved. This, this, this is a philosophical argument. So for the elect law, for the elect law, one, they send you a letter if your treasurer doesn't sign, Got it at fill home. it out, and then you send it back. There have been eight cycles that he's neglected to do this. It's public information. I urge you all to check it out. That's number one. Number two, okay, let's look over here. Development project in, in the pad. Fields. Bullock accepts contribution. Vega accepts contribution. Liskey accepts contribution. Full of folks know you to vote yes. Let's talk about Lord McPherson 111. Full of folks know we all accept money. You two vote yes. Parks Mountain Home Depot. Uh, Campbell Dean, 77 Hudson, Left Rack, Shore Club, Frank Camacho, well, this was the, I mean, I took money, like you said, my money in black court. I would say in two years, Steve, you couldn't point to one example, not one. So what I'm going to say is, is that don't bring this out and don't take personal shots when somebody puts forward legislation that affects everything. Talk about the legislation, don't take a dig at me in the paper, and it won't come to this, is what I'm saying. Do you have any other comments on, on this? Yeah, uh, just for clarity and going forward, we have, we have two documents. I would assume the first draft document was done by your organization. It's all the same document. The other is just bad. It's okay. just paginated and on our and on our page. No, that's what I'm saying. So both of these documents are exactly the same. That's right. That's I want to Second reading ordinances. Any questions? Just one on uh, order H. The. Uh, <laughs>